2010 our sales grew 184 percent. The Figo was named Car of the Year. Ford was Manufacturer of the Year. And there's so much passion and so much potential in the Indian market. And both China and India are the dominant markets in Asia and certainly will be for the foreseeable future and we see opportunity in both. The, the center point of the Chinese industry is what we call the C segment or the focus size vehicle. And as you know in India the, the center point is more around the sub B where the Figo now um, so prominently plays a part of our, our portfolio. The price points are different, you know, family size is different, there's so many different parts of the business. I think the Chinese industry in 2010 was probably about 18 million units of sales, whereas India was over 3 million. So there's differences in, in scale and size. But we see the Indian market growing dramatically over the next 5 to 10 years, just as China has the last 5 or 10 years. But in, like, there are similarities actually. 60 to 70 percent of the buyers in China and India are first-time buyers, so first time buying a vehicle, which is a different kind of experience for most people. Um, the Chinese market's more cash, the Indian market's more traditional as far as credit and cash. Uh, but at the end of the day, consumers want the same thing. They want value, they want fuel economy, quality, new technology, and they want the best, best car they can get for the money. That's true in India, China, or even the United States. You are exporting cars out of India? We have started exporting the Figo to South Africa and are now expanding that to 50 markets around the world. The Figo is a great opportunity and we see India, just like some of our competitors, as a great export opportunity base, a base for exports for the future and I think that bodes well for the Indian auto market. Now Ford is stronger, has better products and now we're able to make the major investments in the markets like India, like we're seeing. Um, and grow for the future. So from Alan Mulally to our board, to our leadership team, to our team in India, Asia Pacific, we're so excited. That's the energy you feel. One Ford, one plan, one team, one goal, and that is to bring our great products to all the customers around the world. As Henry Ford said in 1925, opening the highways to all mankind. That includes China and India. When you go to India, you probably have seen when people buy new cars, especially in the South, they do a little prayer. Yes. What was your reaction the first time you saw that? My my niece saw the CNBC documentary that was done on Ford India and you know with the lemons and rolling over the lemons and I had a hard time explaining that to my niece that why do they do that? But the blessing is all part of the culture and the and the flowers and the candles and the incense. It's all part of what makes India special and the passion and energy and the vibrancy. We talk about it all the time. Why we have a coral, a coral uh, interior for Figo? Because there's so much energy and passion and color in India. It makes India unique and don't lose that because it's exciting. You didn't talk about India and not ask about Bollywood. Uh, <laughs> Bollywood. Well, I've been to Mumbai, um, but I haven't spent a lot of time uh, dealing with Bollywood. But, but have you seen any Bollywood? I have. I'm getting ready to dance right now and sing. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thanks again. Appreciate it.